What's up guys, we're checking out this dash cam. These are all videos from the dash cam. I censored the coordinates location for privacy, but this dash cam does it all. We're gonna do a full unboxing after this quick drive around with it, so stay tuned. That's an elk out there. This one's a buffalo. Here's a view out of the side camera that I mounted in this position. That's Scrappy Doo, my puppy. Then we've seen some wild deer. What's up, guys? Mr. Allen C. in my ride, checking out the state of the art. D50 three channel dash cam. Let's see what's in the box and get it set. There it is, here's the box. Looks pretty cool. We'll pull it open here. And we have different accessory boxes, right? Three different cameras for all different angles while you're driving that are recorded simultaneously. So here's the main unit itself. It's very attractive looking. And take a look at this. You can just peel that and stick it to your window is what I believe here. And then this camera can rotate, can be towards you, or you can rotate it to face out the window. I mean, this thing will go any way you want. Thus, we got the large digital screen. And usually, if they have more than one camera, uh, the other two cameras besides the main one are really hard to mount in your car. I always have a hard time. But take a look at these. These can stick right to your window. This is solving a major problem that's really prevented me from using uh, three camera dash cams permanently in my vehicle. This is an awesome solution. And it looks like these cameras can be rotated once stuck to the window. See that? For instance, I rotated it and you get those two additional. Very nice. Beautiful screen. Here's a look at the cables and cords you get to uh, set up the two additional cameras around your car that's super long, longer than an entire car, so you can put them anywhere. Of course, we get an instruction manual and a really nice cigarette lighter plug-in to power the device with like a carbon fiber design around the top. I'm absolutely loving that. And you guys know me. I'm going to stick these in the total wrong spot three times. And when I peel them off, I'm going to need another sticker. So here's some more stickers to stick the dash cam where it needs to go. And some tiny parts here. Looks like some stickers. Oh, they thought of everything. I didn't get this with the other dash cams. Um, these are stickers so you can run your cable neatly. And it's not you know, sticking out like a sore thumb. This is, these are cable holders, how cool. Let's do another lens peel right here. And then I'm thinking about sticking this to my window. I'm feeling bold and adventurous. So, let's see if we can peel this off here neatly. I wanna take our time so we don't peel the sticky part off. There we go. Got a good peel. And I'm just gonna eyeball it. Now, where do I want this? I wanna be able to reach it. That's a pretty cool spot right there, I think. Camera, if you want to film yourself, go for it. You can do some vlogs, or you can film outside, adjust the angle right there. We have the awesome screen, some buttons. We're going to get it powered on here in just a minute. They also give you this nice pry bar, so if you need to remove it and re-straighten it, that's what I just did, and it was really simple. Not just perfect. Now, what I also found when I was yanking on it is those stickies attached to the bottom here, so you can slide this on and off anytime you want. Like so. How cool and convenient is that? An SD slot for the SD card, a power cable slot, and the power button, I believe that is. We're going to get it plugged in here in a minute. We got it plugged in. Um, cables absolutely drive me up a wall. It's my number one turnoff. I'm always disconnecting my dash cams. This one does have the cable management system, though. And I think if I do this right, it can look pretty good. So I'm going to work on that quick. I took advantage of that cable management system, keeping that in place so it's not falling on the passenger side. And ran it down into my middle compartment. And I think it looks really, really clean. And it's going to stay put. So that's awesome. A quick look where I mounted my cameras. There's one here facing out my side window. Main camera's up here. And there's a third one on my back window stuck to the door there.